Hey guys good morning today is today's tuesday and today is april the second and it is morning ready for work and i just had extra time god my it's like i'm losing weight my pants my uniform pants is um it's kind of falling off and today is national autism day so blue always represent autism so i decided to just wear my uniform scrub i miss wearing my uniform guys let me show you guys i wear my uniform today yeah so i wore my uniform so i just wore my uniform pants and then this jacket is like a zip up jacket and yeah so i really miss wearing my scrubs blue signifies national autism day yay so i wore my blue and i'm heading to work now um i slept very well last night guys yesterday i didn't sleep too well i was very cranky and today last night i decided to take um sleeping pill and i slept really good like really good the girls started school today so i'm dropping mina off the time right now is 8 32 and she needs to be in school by 8 40 okay yeah so i'm going to drop her and i just wanted to tell you guys that today is national autism or national autistic day and that wear your blue if you have to just to represent that day it is not easy and i can say it is a privilege if you have a child that is not autistic it is a privilege some parents are not privileged enough to have a healthy child so let's be grateful to god for that it is only god this is something i've never told you guys but i was once when i was in the hospital as a nurse i was once attacked by an autistic patient he was like 30 years old he was so autistic guys very autistic and i got attacked by that boy uh it was very unexpected so i admitted him and then um i admitted him from the er i had to go get him from the er and the nurse that i was taking report from the er was a male nurse he took another male nurse so we were three of what we transported him to my unit uh, because he was very very aggressive physically mentally he was deranged so uh, I brought this patient to the room and he had like two male caregiver with him at all time. That's how physically challenged he was. So I brought this uh, patient, we settled this patient and then I went about doing my other things, came in with a CNA to do, you know, a nurse assessment and he just grabbed me. He grabbed me by my chest, like towards my breast side guys it took we had to call they had to put they had to call the rapid response security came he attacked me so bad he held me so hard that i cried and i you know they couldn't get him off of me i don't know how they got him off of me but the whole hospital was around there it was it was bad so at that point i was angry at him and i you know later on i was no longer angry at him i felt bad for him i felt sad that he has to go through what he's going through unknowingly so it was really sad and i will never forget that incident so since then i always 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 respect parents and children that have autistic kids or that are autistic is 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 sad and they didn't choose to come out to this world that way. So it is a very significant day for us all. 
to Alicia support. Happy National Autistic Day to everyone here. Let's show our blues as nurses, as healthcare workers, as parents, as siblings, brothers, sisters, aunties, uncle, aunts. Let's wear our blue just to signify this day. And until next time, guys, I will continue this vlog some other time. I don't know where, but this is actually the beginning of a vlog that I want to start. And I'll talk to you guys. Kate Bye. Brushes her hair. She is not a vape. No, no, she is not vape. But she has a big day. I don't want my hair to be played on this on this day. She thinks she, she will go to Claire. Will you bring my hair? I I will pay you. She says. Good job. Winter's here, the snow is falling on a car As we drive for miles to that little town called home Tinsel hangs from every corner of the house And Christmas lights shine right through the cold evening fog And I hear sleepers bouncing off the house just finished for my dentist appointment and I'm going to do my nails look my nails are horrible look at my nails I'm ashamed to show you guys but this is my nails right now yeah I want to go get them done yeah it's just not looking right at all these are my nails yeah it's not looking right so I want to go and and fix them yeah, I don't know what color I'm getting, but yeah. How are you guys doing? How are you enjoying your day? We've had rain here in Maryland for Monday. We've been having rain all the way to today's Wednesday, and we are still having rain. Yeah, today's Wednesday. It's still raining, and it rains from morning all the way until like late afternoon. Yes, that is the spring, right? That spring that we have all been waiting for now is showing us the rain. But yeah, guys, so I'm going to do my nails and then I will I might grab something to eat. I don't know, but yeah. All I wanted was you. Now he's So I just came back from work and I haven't changed and I want to eat. I made 
I made uh, what is it called? I made I made equang. I made equang, guys. I bought some equang. I made it, so that's what I'm warming up to eat. Hi, mommy. Hi, mommy. How are you? Take a shower. Oh, you were taking a shower? Yeah, good girl. You don't want me to say you're a good girl. Okay, bad girl. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I mean, you guys should go get dressed. Go finish getting dressed, okay? It's cold. Okay. I want to share something with you guys. I want to share this book. This is a very great book. And then it talks about the power of a praying wife. This book is very, very, very great it's a good resource for married women or if you are even a single person it's not just for married people if you are single you're planning on getting married one day this is a good book this is a good book and this doesn't necessarily mean that it is for people that are struggling in their marriages whether you're struggling in your marriage whether you are struggling in a relationship where everything is going fine and you just want to spice up your marriage or your relationship read this book this is very good i bought it off of amazon i think it was about this is a hard copy that I got. I think it was like $12 or $13, something there about. It is a good book. It just talks about what you can do to spice up your relationship. There were very important points from this book that I got. It tells you that marriage or relationship or friendship is like a recipe. It says it's like a recipe. Whatever you put in a recipe is what your cake comes out to be or whatever you were baking comes out to be right it's very useful it talks about intrapersonal relationship versus interpersonal relationship so this is a very good book telling you you have to work on your own self first before you try to work on another person this is a very great book don't just pray and expect you know your relationship to work you have to pray you have to seek for knowledge seeking knowledge by reading books like this that's what they mean it says you have to seek knowledge not just praying even if you pray and then you are not seeking knowledge you are not trying to get other people's experiences you are not googling information you are not trying to know information about how to work your marriage or your relationship you are just wasting your time yeah so this is a very good book for us women please guys read this book buy this book you will not regret it i'm not being sponsored anyway i'm not sponsored but it's just a great book you guys know when i find anything that is great that i feel like anyone can benefit from it i always like to share read this book guys this is going to step your game from zero to a hundred even a mother as a mother this will also step your game up from zero to a hundred read this book guys but yeah i just came back from work and i want to eat my equang i made equang over the weekend and i want to eat that the weather today was terrible it was raining it's been raining the whole day it's wet it's just a day where if we didn't have responsibility i just want to sit remain in my bed or on my couch watch netflix and chill but hey we got bills to pay all right guys i just came back and i wanted to share this book with you guys check it on amazon you will not regret it and i will talk to you guys later